I'm Kayla. And I'm Dooley. And we're from Smyrna, Tennessee. And we're Team Blue of season two of Relative Race. We were actually on two seasons. We were on season one and then on season two. The first season, I met my cousin, Anthony. You're my relative? Yes, I am. We raced from Miami to Boston for 10 days against three other teams. In the same car with each other. I don't know how we did that. Why are you going off? I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Ah! I don't know where I am. We're about to go over a freaking bridge. You can't just lose. I'm mad at myself. You're supposed to be. Let's get over the bridge and come back. Listen, we used nothing, no technology, no GPS. We had nothing but paper maps. Welcome to Welcome Murphy's. Welcome to Murphy's. OK. Cool. God damn there was a lot on the line. It was $50,000 was the cash prize for this, this race. It was fun. And we loved it. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at these other teams, and I'm thinking, yeah, look at these young punks, man. I ate them for breakfast. Once the show actually started, when we walked out on that beach, and the camera started rolling, I'm asking myself, what did I get myself into? Oh, sorry. My bad. What is going on, man? This production stuff going around. I'm like, this is just day one. Yeah! You know what you want, and you don't know what you're going to get. So that's a whole nother element in itself right there that just kind of, you know, I had to play it cool. I was trying to be cool. That's Matthew can't preach. No limit to his ministry. Uh, ministry doesn't rhyme with preach. teach or preach. Does in my world. After a few days, you get you get used to the camera and the team around you, and you just you just sucking it all in, man. Man, that guy's a fool. I had to turn it up a little bit, man. Beast mode. My legs feel like jelly. I feel like I'm about to pass out, but I gotta keep up with him because we gotta find this thing together. Uh uh uh. uh. His butt whooped twice before he even got a chance to look at the board. And I don't even know how to play. Oh! No, keep <laughs> going, I'm good. The minute I let go, the entire harness feel like it was gonna rip me in half. Zebulon, oh, North Carolina. Snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, what is that? Oh, snap, here you go, right here. Oh, snap. Ah, uh, the snaps, man. It goes back to just uh, just the dialect we, it was a. It's old school. It's old school. And they school. just bringing it yeah, back. Yeah, we just, you know, it's just like a, a way to edit things up that you don't want to go in. Cause, yeah. That's your um. You yeah. still say, um. No. Uh, um, oh, say, oh snap. snap. You know, you could just throw it all over the place. It's very snappable. It snaps right in. I call it the Lego word. Oh, snap. Primarily, my focus has been family since I got back. You know, I had to readjust. It's like I had to kind of transition away from the show and the lights and the cameras and all that stuff. It's all right. You're going to be all right, man. You know, family is everything. You know, it's not about the money. You know, you can walk away with a check, and it can be spent. But you walk away with family, and they're not going anywhere, no matter how much you may want them to. They're not going anywhere, you know? And so that's what I had to pull from the show. So it helped me, it helped us both reevaluate our relationship and reevaluate what we saw as important. And we came out with family being on top. Yes, 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 yes. Cousin, I didn't... How are you? Relative race opens doors. Opened up a whole new world of connections and people that you would have no clue. At least you know now. Who's related to... I believe that Kayla and I are third cousins. Oh, man. <laughs> By the way, I'm Brett. Man, Brett, welcome to the family, man. What's going on? Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Hey, I am related to I you. I knew it. You do? I you kind of look like me. I will never, ever forget the day that I met my sister. OK, um, who are you related to? And then we're going to ask to use your bathroom. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm related to you. Really? Yes. Oh. By how? how?
My dad? I'm your sister, Mia. Oh, snap. Meeting my sister, Mia, it was one of those moments that I just, you can't repeat it. It, it's, it was life changing. All of those words that people use nowadays is just one of those things that I can't believe this really happened. Oh, Mia. Oh, you're my sister. Mia. It was a blessing, the best thing that has ever happened to me, aside from getting married and having children. So I really haven't kept in contact with any of my other relatives. I still love all of the relatives that I have met, but I believe I'm just concentrating on trying to know and love on my sister and her family, her kids, my nieces, you know, um, my nephew. It's just one of those things that, yeah, it's all about my sister Mia right now. So, Mia, if you're watching, I kind of like you. <laughs> <laughs> Life has changed. Um, we got one in the oven, too. He's I'm lying. I'm just playing. He's <laughs> I got lying. <gotcha. laughs> He's lying. Man, I'm sorry, America. <laughs> He's lying. Just, I'm lying. I'm lying. I, Although, I wouldn't mind. She wouldn't mind, of okay. course. So for me right now, after the show, I am still homeschooling my two. When the show was on the air, um, I believe Titus was three and a half, almost four, and Naraya was almost two. My little one, Naraya, who's four, soon to be five, loves to draw and paint. If you go upstairs, um, there's just like painting stuff out and open so that she can just dig in there and go at it. Um, Titus is in soccer. He loves it. And like I always tell him, Titus, you do awesome, but run faster, baby. Just run faster. Mm -hmm. I scream and holler. He tells me to be quiet at the game. So he's maturing now. He's not just my little baby, you know, with the cute little ball that he gave me. Now he's like, Mom, you'll be fine, you know? Just, okay, whatever. You know, that's how he is now because he's becoming a man, you know, a little <laughs> boy. Um, but other than that, they are, they're great. I couldn't ask for better kids. The show changed our lives forever. It's brought us closer together as a family. I put a value on that thing. I, I try to be mindful of the time I have and the time I spend with my family, I try to isolate things. You know, before I was a workaholic. When, when the show was airing, I had a job that was extremely stressful. Uh, it was very demanding and it, it kind of dampened my creative spirit, my ability to kind of, you know, work things out because of the stress, stress load. But this new job, I got a job that I actually really, really, really enjoy doing. I work at the number one ad agency in Nashville, Tennessee. It's uh, Get Sherwood and Friends, GSNF, and I love it. <laughs> the new job allows me to just soar, just leaps and bounds, and there's no like strenuous demands. It's just they're very respectful of, of your family time and personal time. So I've been spending that time just getting to be around my family, enjoying it. And it's all because of relative race. I have that perception that family is so important, it's so valuable, and it's just, everything just lined up perfectly now, man. So I have no complaints. $50,000, $50,000. I got my family right now, man, and, and nothing beats that. You bring me home.